everyone, it's Heidi Scott with DIY Dreaming and on this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to make the cutest Christmas books using a very simple folding technique, some stencils, a little ribbon, and some glitter if you want. Um, I saw this idea on Pinterest and it really didn't look that difficult and I had a bunch of extra books back from when I did these other book projects so I just decided this morning that I was going to figure it out, it out and I did and I made one and I'm going to show you step by step how to do that. So as you jump on or if you're watching this on replay say hi give me some love or a smiley face tell me where you're watching from um, and just let me know that you're here and um, if you like this project and if you if you do really like my style of projects which are always quick super simple without a ton of ingredients super affordable sometimes a little unusual and using a book from the dollar store i think is kind of a, a little unusual and require no artistic abilities. If you like that kind of project, then um, feel free to tell your crafty friends about me or sprinkle my this video tutorial on your social media. Okay, so about, I don't know, two or three weeks ago or maybe a month ago, I made a ton of these book stacks and I wanna show you. And um, I really, found out that I absolutely love, hey Marianne, I love working with books and you can make some really awesome things. So this one has a little bird on the top and some ribbon and some twine and then it says peace, be still and know and hope. I stenciled those on the spines of these soft cover books and on the top, that was one. This one is my favorite, and from what I heard from you all when I asked, it was your favorite as well. This one says Jesus, let me move this little bow out of the way, on the top, and it has the words hope, blessed, and faith, stenciled in red and black gel ink on the um, spines of these soft cover books. Isn't that cute? Wouldn't you love to receive something like that? And um, so if you haven't seen this tutorial, um, scroll back a little ways in my videos and find it because you're gonna definitely want to make some of these. Hey Jackie, I'm in Georgia too. I live, just in case anyone's wondering, I live in Alpharetta, actually Milton, which is a little town just north of Atlanta. And, um, Anyways, where are you from? Okay, so these were the past book projects that I did. And what I'm gonna show you today is how to make this one. Which you guys, this is a folded Christmas tree book. And you can take the idea of this and go a zillion different directions. For example, you could um, use some colored ink or uh, chalk art, or even paint with whatever stencils you choose. And then you could use, um, you know, some red and green ribbon or not even do ribbon at all. Um, you can decide whether you want to use the glitter, which I am loving the glitter, but oh my word, today I have it all over me. It's on my face. Um, it's all over my table. Good thing my husband is traveling right now because I will have two days to get it um, cleaned up before he returns from his business trip. And my older son who's here right now, he really doesn't have a big problem with glitter, so he's okay. Anyway, so you could use glitter or not, and then you can also dress up your tree if you want with some little garlands, or you could create some teeny tiny little ornaments. You could put this in a book stand, but you can see how nice they stand up when you fold your trees. So you really don't need to do that. Oh, you're in Powder Springs, that's not far from me. Well, hey, thanks for watching. Okay, so um, first things first, where do you get your book? Um, well, maybe you have a book in your house that has to be a hardcover for it to stand up good like this that you've already read and you know for sure you're not gonna to wanna to read it again. Or 
it could even be a smaller one. So maybe your, um, your child has a hardcover book that they've already read and you're not going to read it again. Or another source is to go to your local Goodwill. And this is a tip that I shared when I was doing these um, book stacks. Look, if you're going to get your book at Goodwill, look at what the color of the day is. Um, today I was at Goodwill and I'm going to go live in a probably a half an hour to show you the amazing finds that I got there today. Anyways, the color of the day today was yellow. So um, hardcover books are about $3 at, at Goodwill. But if you get one that has the yellow sticker or whatever the color of the day is on it, it's half off. So you can get a nice hardcover book for $1.50 if you do it that way. This one um, I got from my local dollar store and it's a book all about being a quarterback. It's written by Steve Young. I mean, somebody who's interested in football, I, I really only like college football, but somebody who's interested in football might want to read this book, but for me, I know for sure I never will. So it was the perfect book um, to use. And one other thing you might want to pay attention to, if you're going to do this sort of theme of the black and white and neutral, which is kind of what my style is right now for this Christmas, I have a Christmas tree that's decorated in only things that I've made and that is black and white and neutral this year. Um, if you're going to do that kind of a, a look for your book, then look for a book that is a dark color. Like this one here um, is, you're going to obviously, if it has a book, you know, little color sleeve paper thing on it, take that off. And you're going to be want to look for a book that looks nice, that has, you know, dark blue or black or brown. Um, this just couldn't have been any more perfect for this project, okay? Um, so, those are some sources for getting your books. Okay, then, let me just move this slightly over. And I'm going to put my little sign up here just to remind you to sprinkle if you, um, if you like these crafts and you have friends that you think would like it too. Okay, um, so the, the, this is another book that I have. I don't love the color of this book, but it was also from the dollar store. And I'm going to show you step by step how to do it, how to get started. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is open your book and sort of bend this little back area. A little bit. I just sort of stumbled into that as I was making this one right here. I didn't see any instructions that said to do that, but it does make it easier. And then you're going to look to see how many pages are in your book. This book has 420 pages, so I'm going to start somewhere in the middle, which would be at page about 210, okay? And um, it's the folding is super simple. Here's one other tip I want to share with you. Um, if you're going to do this technique, it's best to not have fingernail polish on unless you have some real good clear coat over the top of it because you don't want to get fingernail um, scuff marks from your painted uh, fingernail polish all over. And that happens to me a lot. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do, and it doesn't matter which way you fold it, you can go to your left or to your right, you're just going to take your um, the page that you're going to start with and you're going to make one fold from the top down to the center. I'll show you what I'm talking about in just a second. Okay, so this is your first fold. I just took the top of my page and I folded it in. Yeah, Marianne says you can paint or decoupage the outside of the books. Yes, you absolutely can. And I actually did a project about a year ago where I did that. Um, and I did a really cool technique on it. Um, if I can find those books, shoot, I don't know where they are right now. Maybe I'll um, post a picture of that in the comments. Anyway, so if you can't find a book that's going to be the color or the look that you want, just use whatever. And like Marianne says, you can paint it or, or decoupage it. Okay, so this is what I did. I took my first page and from the top, I folded it over into the center and then I creased it, okay? Then the next thing you're going to do is you're just going to fold that same page from the top one more time. 
okay? And um, you do not have to be precise in that, seriously. Okay, I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. So that was what we had to start out with, and I just folded it over one more time so that the edge went into the center, and then you're gonna have something that looks like this. And the book will not stand up if you do that, okay? So what you need to do is get rid of this little tail right here. And the best thing to do for that is just to fold it so it's flush along the bottom of your book. Like this, can you guys see? And then you can so easily just tuck that little tail right in, okay? So that's basically it. And I think on this pay, on this one, I probably did, I haven't counted, but maybe 30 pages. Um, you can do as many as you want to get as big of a tree as you want, okay? So let's pretend that I've done all of those, okay? And let's talk about what your next step is going to be. Well, the next thing is you're going to um, put a stencil on both sides. And it's helpful to see where is your tree going to fold out to. Okay? So, for this one, I decided to use this cute little Santa Claus. This is um, a stencil from a maker studio. And I think in the little blurb that I wrote about this tutorial, I included a link to the mesh stencil. So you can go take a peek. They have some um, all year long stencils. They have some really fun seasonal stencils. And then they also have some really awesome Christmas stencils. Okay, so I just laid my Santa stencil on my book where I wanted it, sort of close to the edge, you can see. Okay, and, and these mesh stencils are adhesive, which makes them super easy to work with. And then I just used some of this Maker Studio Black, uh, Black Gel Art ink, which I also included a link um, for that in the little blurb. And I just pushed the um, ink through the holes on my stencil. Okay, so I did know when I was doing this side that I, I thought at the, that point that I was going to want to do a ribbon border. And so you can kind of see, I didn't start him right at the very edge. I scooted him over a little bit. Can you see what I'm saying? So I didn't care if the ribbon covered just a little bit of his side. It's, this is completely up to you how you want to do it. Um, oh gosh, now I have <laughs> gel ink on my face. Lovely. Okay, um, something always happens to me. The dogs start barking, my phone rings, my battery runs out, somebody rings the doorbell. We're getting a new dishwasher today. The guy may show up any minute. Um, anyways. Um, okay, so you can put your stencil wherever you want it, depending on kind of what you have in mind. And you guys, this book was $1, so if I completely wrecked it, it's no big deal. It, it was a good practice to um, do it. And then I decided that I was going to put a stencil at the top on the other side, and I knew kind of where my tree would be, and that it would be okay if this, this says Merry Christmas if my tree cut off just a little bit of the C. I may go back actually and add another something right here because I kind of feel like it's a little empty right there. But I knew that I probably wasn't going to um, do a ribbon on that side. Uh, but again, it's personal preference. Hey Peggy, hey Pamela. Um, well, hey Pamela, you can come back later and watch the sun replay if this project appeals to you and it's so stinking easy and so fun and so awesome uh, that I would really encourage you to come back and watch it later okay so um, so the first thing you're going to do is stencil either side of where your tree is again we're pretending that I've done all of these okay then the next thing you're going to want to do is um, glue down the top page and this is why I have black on my face, because I have it on my fingers. Um, glue this down to that page so it's not flying up. 
and same on this side. And I just used um, Elmer's glue, clear, and a little paintbrush, okay? Then when your stencils have dried, um, what you're gonna do, if you wanna do the look this, just exactly like this one, I um, put some, I used this foam brush and some of the same Elmer's glue and I put glue on the edge of the pages on both sides and then I put glue on this. Can you tear the cover off and stencil words on the outside? Well, you could certainly try. I'm not sure how stable it would be to stand it up, but you know what? I may try that too because I have a whole bunch of soft cover books in my craft room um, waiting to have something done to them. So Barbara, if you do that and it works, um, share a picture, please. And then, hi Silky. Oh, I'm so glad you like this project. And I don't know if I pronounced your name right, but that's a really pretty name. Thank you for watching. Okay, so I put glue on um, the two sides of my pages and then I just um, held my tree like this and I did the same thing. I put glue just on the very tips of the tree that I folded in, okay? And then, using my favorite glitter, which I talk about in almost every Facebook Live I do, it's this. It's called Sue Lin's Extra Fine Glitter in Sterling. It's from Walmart, it's about $4. I just sprinkled that all over it, shook it off. It's still all over my sweater. It's still all over my table. If you could see better, you could see that the house is covered in glitter. But um, anyways, and that was pretty much it. Then I tied my ribbon on where I wanted it and I put a little piece of twine on the outside and, and that's the project. And then if you wanted to paint the back or the spine, you could do that as well. So. I hope that you like this idea and that you um, feel like it's something that you could do. And if you do try it, I would love to see pictures of what you make. This is seriously so easy. This would be a fun project to do um, with your children, whether they're college age or elementary school, during the Christmas holidays. Because once you, get, once you fold one page and you get the hang of it, it's so easy. You can just be watching TV and folding pages at the same, same time or um, listening to some music. And it would be a fun activity to do uh, with your family. So I would love to see that. Anyways, until I see you again, which will be just a few minutes because I have one more thing to do today. Um, I will be DIY dreaming up more projects for you, more crafts for you that are quick, because I have a short attention span, that are super easy and that don't require a ton of ingredients, that are super affordable. Oh my goodness, this book cost $1. That are sometimes a little unusual. I do like to use things that are unusual. I like to take an ordinary object and turn it into something completely different than what you would be expecting. Um, and I think using a, a book to make a Christmas tree um, qualifies for that. And then I love to do projects that are that don't require any artistic abilities. And when you use stencils and gel ink, the stuff that you can get um, that I've used on this project, it makes it so super easy. You don't have to be artistic or even crafty to do this project. So um, until I see you again, which will be very short, shortly here today, um, I will be DIY dreaming up lots of projects for you. So thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.